Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Ozenator, tutorial time once again and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pretty simple looking um, techy looking background just the basic shapes and also these glowing edges as you see on the corners and also that's what I did on the textures as well so to start you're going to download the template I've got in the description below unless you've already got one but I, this one I made myself so you know it's going to fit exactly right you've got two options when you open it you've got or three options, you've got the main sections which you can unhide and hide and you've got one big bar down the middle or you can have rounded edges at the top and bottom so I'm going to have the straight one and I'm just going to unhide the sections for now and these sections give you a good idea of where each section finish, starts and finishes but it doesn't actually give you an idea of the content inside that and obviously this is because it's specific to each channel so what you want to do is go into your channel change the theme and colors to a standard one such as blue or gray or whatever and then you're going to look make sure it's aligned kind of scrolled right and then you're just going to print screen that we're going to open that up into photoshop and then we are all we want to do is just get rid of the blue areas so we're going to be left with the, just the text and that will help us get to know where everything is in the background so that we can then create and cut bits out of the background and it will still look good so just getting rid of all of that blue as you see there we just have the text but no background we're going to go Control a Control c switch back to our template and paste it on top now you just want to move this to get it to the right place roughly so that it roughly lines up with the template and there you have it so now we know that we have a bit more space here where the text kind of ends a bit soon and we have a bit of space here because the my box only takes up a bit of space so we can go a bit more into that bit so we're going to go back onto our straight layer and we're going to start cutting this out don't actually have to zoom in for this so we're just going to get our polygonal lasso tool third tool down if you're not aware of it or you could use the pen tool this is just my preference and then holding down shift to make sure you get a nice straight line we're just going to cut this section out and then we're going to go oops that was a misclick let me try that again I'm trying to bend my wrist around my mic so we're going to cut around there and then cut along there and then down across like so and then half about there and I'm just going to press delete deselect that and get rid of the top layer as well as the main sections as you can see we have a pretty cool looking techie border already you can get rid of some of the corners um, if you want like in my other one I got rid of some of the corners I think so if you want to just get rid of these you just have to go across like that and then press delete I think I'm just going to leave it as that one corner and keep the rest as it is so now that is the basic background um, kind of shape you can add different bits like I took a bit away at the top as well if you want to do that obviously you can see where where you can take bits off so you go ahead and do that so for the glowing bits we're just going to first fill this with a blue color just by adding a color overlay just so I can show you the effect a bit better and then actually we're going to make the background black so you can see it even more easily so first what you want to do, actually I'll make this a bit darker. It's better if it's a slightly darker colour because obviously we're going to be making the edges glowing white or light blue. So it's better if it's dark at the beginning. So first what you want to do to do the glowing corners, you want to select the background layer. So you're going to hold down Command or Control and click this thumbnail where the icon changes to like a selection square. That will select the whole background as you can see, you've got the marching ants there. Create a new layer and then fill this with white. While this is selected, don't deselect it yet, you're going to go up to, up to select, modify, contract. And then you're just going to contract it by two pixels. This will make the selection to, smaller by two pixels basically. And then you're going to click delete. You're not going to do that actually. So that's one way, <laughs> I was thinking about restarting it there but I might as well just keep going. 
So if you want all of the edges to glow, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do that and then you're going to set it to overlay. But if you just want the corners to glow, let's get rid of that. Make a new layer. You're going to use the brush tool instead of filling a tool. So just get a reasonably big brush and paste paint on some of these onto some of these corners, making it look pretty cool. Top corners as well. I'll leave the bottom corners because they don't just to make this quicker. And then we're going to do the same. We're going to select that. First, we're going to get rid of everything outside. So we're going to go select inverse. Delete that. As you can see, it's now everything inside the thing. And then we're going to duplicate that to add a bit more of a glow. We're going to duplicate that. Starting with the first one, we're going to select the background again. We're going to modify it, contract it by two pixels again. And we're going to delete it. As you can see, the edges are glowing white. You can leave them white if you want or set it to overlay. And then on the other layer, which we duplicated, these are still there. We're just going to set that to overlay as well. And then just lower the opacity, giving that bit of extra glow. So as you can see, you can either have it around all the edges, or you can just have it around the corners. That's what I think looks best. So as you can see, the edges have got that kind of shine on them, and also got a bit of a glow as well. So that's how you make a simple tech looking background. Obviously you're not going to stop here, you could add so much more to this background. But this is just, you've got to start with like the base shape and the base effects. So this is a good starting point for you. Obviously this can be applied to text if you've seen my background. Um, oops, it doesn't look that good because I haven't added that much glow like I did these corners. But as you can see you can do it to text. Exactly the same method. And it looks pretty good. So that was a tutorial by me, Mr. Orzonator. Hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.